Hello everybody, Jamie here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Android device as a Bluetooth mouse and Bluetooth keyboard for your iPhone or iPad. Uh, this is how to do it. So we're going to go to the Play Store and we're going to download something called Serverless Bluetooth Keyboard and Mouse and we're going to open it up. Okay, next we're going to click on Set Up Remote Device and then we're going to click on New Device at the bottom and then search for device. And on the iPad, we're gonna go to your Bluetooth settings and uh, make sure that it's uh, turned on. Okay, and then we're gonna find the name of the uh, the iPad. So we've got one here called iPad. I'm just gonna click on that. Okay, and it's gonna come up on your phone and on your iPad saying, do you want to pair? You're gonna click on yes. When you see movement on the screen, you click on it's moving at the top right. Next, we're going to go to the settings cog at the top. You can go through each of them. Uh, some of them you have to pay, but a good majority of it is for free. But it's only about £2.30 if you do want to pay. And it's always good to support developers because there's not another app really like this. If you do click on the keyboard button, it's going to keep on asking you what language do you want it in. So if we click on keyboard language and we're going to select which we want. So on mine, it's going to be English UK. So I'm going to select that. Most of them you need to have a uh, the, like the premium version of the app, but if you just want to be able to type and move the mouse, it works absolutely perfect. Right, so you can use the the mouse over here. See, look, and you can you can treat it like it's a real mouse. Okay, and if you want the keyboard, we're gonna click on the keyboard icon at the top, and that comes up straight away. And then you can you can uh, do what you want really. So let's see, I'm gonna put hello. See, look how cool that is. There we go. So, I, you know, I, I found this quite helpful. And a lot of you are going to be thinking, well, it's the touch screen. Why on earth would you need a mouse and a keyboard when the iPad has, you know, has it built in? Well, that is a good point. For me, the reason why I was looking into it, because I did get um, a mouse that, that worked on um, the, the iPad. I don't really like typing on the iPad. I don't know if I'm alone in, in that, but I just prefer using the phone because it's it's the keyboard small and I can type more accurately. And uh, I use my iPad um, to have like this Windows emulator so that I can uh, remote into my desktop at work. Um, as you can see, it looks like a Windows <laughs> operating system now. And it's just so that I can, you know, get pinpoint accuracy and be able to, to click on things and I like the fact it's available if, it, if I need it. I did try and get this working on an iPhone as well but I strangely couldn't find an app or any sort of way to get uh, the like the keyboard or, or turn it into a mouse on the, the iPhone to work on an iPad. There very, the very well could be a way of doing it, I'm just not familiar. Anyway this is a nice quick video on showing you how to make your Android device into a keyboard and mouse on your iPad. Okay thank you very much for your time, if you love the video give it a thumbs up and if you hated the video subscribe. Okay see you later.